the Liquibase Mac installer demo. Uh, what you see here is the Liquibase page at GitHub, and you'll notice that now, in addition to the TARs and the zips in the regular ways, there is an installer both for Mac and Windows, and in this demo I'll be showing you the Mac. I've already downloaded the installer, so let's just open it up and let it do its thing real quick. We open it again, and it's going to walk us through a process. Um, you should just select the defaults. That is the easiest route to go, but you are free to put them in applications or your own project setup. So here we're going to go to user law, local opt. Let's do the install, extracts, and we'll see the things. And what's nice about this, separate you know, or different from the traditional ways, is that you have all of your dependencies that you need to get started. If we open up the readme real quick, you can see what was actually installed. There's an open JDK, there's an H2 uh, in-memory database that will help you do the tutorials and help you learn Liquibase. What's most exciting is this um, getting started text, and it will show you um, what to do to actually learn Liquibase and get up and running right away. Um, there's some uh, examples included in here in both uh, SQL and XML formats. Um, it tells you how to uh, move them so you can get started. You, you will need to move it to a place where you have permissions to act on it. So let's just do that real quick. So I'm going to take this examples directory and I'm going to move it over to my documents. I will replace it from my previous example. And you can see in here, now we have a couple of XML and SQL change logs and properties files. It is also worth noting the properties file has been uh, dramatically improved because now it has descriptions. It tells you what a properties file does. It tells you how to find help to learn more about the properties file. And all the key value pairs in here are described. And the relationships of their paths are also described, which um, is useful. As well, if you want to start using some of the pro features, here is uh, the URL that you would need to go to. So let's do this real quick. It's actually quite fast to, to learn this. So we've moved this. Uh, we realize we don't have to change anything to our liquid ace properties. And it says, all right, let's start doing this part. Um, open up a terminal app. Uh, go to where I installed it. So let's see where I am now. So I want to go over to my docs, uh, installer, tests. Um, you see here, I've got my examples. And so as it tells me, run examples, start h2. And just like that, I have a little h2 database up and running. You can see I have no tables in this database. So let's go back to the um, here. It says, OK, so what do I do next? It gives me a little bit of knowledge about start h2. And then I can run my first update. So open up a new command line window, go to the same place, and type this command. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to go new. I'm going to cd into my docs. Yeah, I'll go with the SQL. And you can see here, I have these things here. And it just says run liquibase update. Whoops. Or liquibase update. All right, my update has been successful. This tells, tells me to come back and refresh my console and see what happens. Look at that. I have all of these uh, tables in here. And so I can keep going through this and it will show me how to make other changes, how to copy change sets and uh, alter change sets in either SQL or XML. So it's all very handy and I think that you will enjoy it. So um, to take you back to here. Don't forget you can find us at liquidbase.org or you can go directly to our website. Thanks.